Hi everyone, KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff. The time of this recording, a little after 2 o'clock, it is April 2nd, and we are expecting strong to severe thunderstorms later on tonight after sundown, lasting throughout the early morning hours on Good Friday. Here's a webcast extra, get you caught up with all the latest. Storm Prediction Center, as of the latest risk, which was issued at 11.30 in the morning, April 2nd, has been uh, at an enhanced risk of severe weather. Now what we mean by that is that it's in between a slight and moderate risk of severe weather. It's one of the new categories that have been added along with a marginal threat. And you notice the farther north you go into southwest Missouri, more of the area is encompassed in that enhanced risk. It does include, though, Delaware County, Benton County, parts of northeastern and northern Washington County, as well as northern Madison County, and also northern Newton County. Now, the tornado risk, again, according to the what we call probabilistic outlooks from the uh, Storm Prediction Center, there is a 5% area of tornadoes. Now, it's 5% above climatology. That puts us in the medium risk. For large hail, we're looking at a high risk across our northern counties in uh, northwest West Arkansas as well as Southwest Missouri and also the damaging wind threat is also up there so all threats of severe weather possible to give you a little bit of an indication as to when these storms will move in they're possible before 8 o'clock but it's more likely later on in the evening we're talking 9 10 11 o'clock at night after sundown when a lot of you might be going to bed the threats will include a few tornadoes large hail two inches in diameter which is about the size of hen eggs and larger also along with damaging winds. Currently everything is quiet. We did have a complex of storms that moved through right around sunrise this morning, but more energy is swinging in. Unfortunately, it is also getting very sunny across portions of northwest Arkansas. I'll show you what I mean by that. But look at the energy swinging in. You can see that dark area. That is jet stream energy that is moving in. Also notice how the jet stream is splitting a little bit over uh, northwest Arkansas later on tonight. This is what we call uh, basically difluence where the jet stream kind of splits apart and that causes an enhanced area of lift especially where we're looking at in southwest Missouri and portions of northern northwest Arkansas. So as we take a look at uh, our satellite and radar loop you will notice that a little bit of bubbling cumulus clouds are starting to occur but as we stop this image Lots of sunshine now breaking out across Benton County, portions of Washington County. It is rather cloudy in uh, southern sections of northwest Arkansas as well as the River Valley. But again, all these clouds are shifting eastward, and that will eventually lead to a sunny day, especially during the afternoon. Why is that an issue? You don't want sunshine on a severe weather day. So here is the latest thinking on the timing of all this. This is what we call... The HRRR, also known as a High Resolution Rapid Refresh Model, it updates every hour. And you'll notice all the way through about 6 o'clock in the evening, everything is rather quiet. Storms could develop in southeast Oklahoma, and also you will notice some thunderstorm activity in southeastern Kansas. Now, we put this into motion. Over time, thunderstorms will develop the farther south into northeast Oklahoma. We're going to have to watch out for these storms as they track to the east-northeastward, clipping por portions of northwest Arkansas. Now, by 9 o'clock, it starts getting pretty serious as these storms roll in. Again, this is just a computer model. It could be wrong, but I think it's got a good handle on all this. This right here is an isolated supercell in locations of northwestern Benton County, Sulphur Springs, Bella Vista, as well as uh, Rogers and Bentonville could be under the gun for severe weather. Now do notice, uh, you might notice how all this activity is kind of clustered across those northern counties in northwest Arkansas. That means a little less activity, not completely zero, but less activity farther south into Washington and Madison County. So this could be uh, mainly Benton, Carroll, and Boone County, as well as McDonald and Barry County in southwest Missouri, severe weather event. By midnight tonight, the storms will start pushing east, and by early Good Friday morning, everything will come to an end. Now we want you to keep up with the latest weather information and one of the best ways to do this is through our live weather streaming service. We will be offering that later on this evening if thunderstorms do develop and if they do they will definitely become severe rather quickly. A live chat answering your questions as well. We'll have Tevin Wooten is housed in the studio. Heidi Wagner will also be coming in. Uh, you can download our NWA Weather Authority app as well as the KNWA mobile app, and you can get all that live streaming information. Let me show you exactly where to go with all that. There you can see it 
right here, a live stream. This live stream uh, right here will essentially get you right into uh, what we what we provide, which is uh, our weather coverage, exactly what you're seeing on TV if your satellite signal goes out. We'll also be offering live streaming video from some of our storm spotters that will be covering this storm system as it approaches into the area. So that's the latest. Again, the threat is going to be isolated tornadoes, not out of the question, damaging winds, large hail. This threat could be upgraded by 3 o'clock this afternoon to a moderate risk, depending on where the thunderstorms develop and if the computer models come into a little more certainty. And then finally, the timing of all this will be after dark. We're talking 9, 10 o'clock in the evening all the way through about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. So keep it here with your weather authority and we will keep you safe with the latest severe weather information.